Stephen from SATA UK Limited. Um, thank you for joining us again. Today we're going to do a short video about replacing the swivel connector on SATA digital spray guns. As you can see, when you're replacing the swivel connector, you can either buy it as a swivel connector alone, or as a kit you can see here, which is the swivel, the brass insert, and the air tube. Now, the reason for those two options will be shown later, but we would always recommend that you buy the kit. Here we can see a SATA Jet 5000 digital spray gun. When I connect up the air supply, you'll hear there's a leak coming out of the swivel itself. This is generally speaking due to wear and tear. Now we're going to show you how to replace that component. The first thing we need to do is to remove the swivel connector. Now one of two things can happen when we do this. So first of all, we get a 14 millimeter spanner, slide it on and undo it. Now in the real world, that could well be very tight. So make sure you use a good spanner. Now as I remove this, and I can do it with my fingers here, you'll notice that out comes the swivel and the brass insert that we mentioned earlier, along with the plastic air tube. So what's come out of that is the complete kit we showed earlier. Now, that happens on occasions. What could happen, however, is the following. And that is, as we try to move the swivel connector from this gun, which I've already loosened, we take it out and all that is removed is the swivel. We have removed the swivel and the sleeve. On this example, the black pipe that goes up inside the handle didn't come out. But it's always wise to take that out when you're doing such a repair. Now, if it won't come out, get an easy out, something like this, and then just gently, very gently, put it in there, twist it, and out comes that tube. Once the tube is out, put that to one side, and using a brush, clean thoroughly inside, and then blow it out to make absolutely sure there's no residue. You may want to also take off the fluid tip and air cap and needle and blow it through that way to make sure nothing is stuck inside. Once you've completed that, take your new black tube, insert it into there, then take your new swivel and brass insert, wind the insert onto the swivel, you may want to put some Loctite on here as well to ensure that that doesn't come out again in future times when you need to do the same thing. And insert that, do it up finger tight initially. And then once you've got it butting up, get again a 14 mil spanner and wind it on completely. Here we have the other example where the swivel came out alone. In this example, all we need to do is to fit the swivel directly into there. Now, the only point I will make is that in the other example, when we had the sleeve come out and the tube came out, it did give us an opportunity to clean inside that area. Um, we would always say to everyone, it's safer and better to buy the complete kit, and that way, whatever happens, you're covered. Thank you for watching. This, as you can see, are the two completed SATA Jet 5000 digital spray guns. Please be aware that that process is the same for the 3000 model, 4000 model and X5500 model. All the part numbers for the different kits for each of them are available below and in addition there will be a link uh, to our SATA web shop should your local supplier not be able to deliver them to you.